Hey, Tony Girard here on the campus of Shawnee College with Science in Seconds. I found a couple guys under my porch light last night and I brought them here to show you because they're a really cool little beetle. They're one of a group called blister beetles and these guys are striped blister beetles and we have a number of different species of blister beetle uh, here in uh, the Shawnee College uh, district. These guys are the prettiest ones in my opinion. But that name blister beetle comes from a chemical they secrete. It's called cantharide and it, uh, it will blister uh, human skin. It's actually really toxic. It's right up there with strychnine and uh, it kind of has a weird history with humans. First of all, I might mention that horses occasionally die from these guys. Uh, they get bailed up in hay and the beetle crushed and that uh, uh, chemical goes all over the hay and it can be fatal to horses. But in human culture, they used to be used back in the 18th century for blistering for medical purposes, but they were also used, if you've ever heard of the aphrodisiac uh, chemical called Spanish fly, it wasn't a fly, it was a beetle of this same group found in, in Southern Europe. That's a very toxic chemical. It causes uh, swelling, it causes kidney failure. Uh, just ingesting three of these beetles can be fatal to a human. Blister beetles, don't eat them, it could kill you.